here with Marika Hendrick. Hi. Did I get that right? Close, Marika. Marika, yeah. okay. It's okay, it rhymes with Jamaica. That Marika, Jamaica. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, just for the folks at home, uh, could you give us a quick groundwork of your previous work in voice acting? Yeah, um, some of the things, I mean, I, in, in, do you want My Little Pony stuff first? Uh, anything that feels relevant. Okay, well, in My Little Pony, I play Gilda the Griffin in season one, Mimi. Mm -hmm. And I play Sonata, Dusk, in uh, the latest DVD, couple days in the movie theater release, um, Rainbow Rocks. Uh, I play Revy in Black Lagoon, which is something that actually oftentimes, even though I'm at MLP cons, um, I'll, probably 25% of the people that come up to my autograph table are have, have a Revy piece of stuff. Um, and uh, I play Susan Test in Johnny Test. Ah. I play Kate and Boomer in Kate and Mim Mim, which is currently on air in, I think it's on Disney Junior here in the States. All right. Uh, so that's just a little bit, I guess, about me. All righty. So, uh... How did you, how exactly did you get started on My Little Pony? Um, I auditioned in season, like in the beginning of season one, because I think Gail does in episode five, yeah, possibly? That's, that's something right. around there. So it was right at the beginning, so they were just doing casting for the show, and I just, I went and auditioned, and they happened to like what I did, so um, they cast me as Gilda. Alright, and you came back later for the role in Equestria, in Rainbow yes. Rock? Yes, yes. All right. And that was the same thing, just an audition. So you just, you just came in an audition and they took you on. Yeah. All right. And uh, what kind? When you were working there, what kind of reaction were you expecting from the fandom with the movie as a whole, or did you have any expectation? I didn't have any expectation. I didn't really think about how, like Sonata in particular, would be thought about. Well, as an actor, as an actor, you just for me, I, I pay attention just to the character and what's happening in the scenes and the lines that I have and how my character fits in the story. Uh, so I don't think about how things are going to play out after my part is done. Because I that's something I have no control over. But it's always interesting to see in all these different shows and the, the episodes in a series or in this particular um, the, the movie to see which characters end up being the ones that people um, remember. So it's kind of fun that they a lot of people certainly talk about Taco Tuesday. So. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, certainly got a big reaction there, so, how, so, yeah. so what do you think of that sort of thing, that this sort of character just exploded in popularity? It's, I mean, it's very flattering. Uh, it's <laughs> awesome. It's the, you know, a lot of it's the writing. You know, when something is well written, it is easier to play than when something isn't well written. And, you know, the writers on the show are so great that it's a pleasure to do the stuff that they write for each character. I, I can attest to that. I'm only taking an acting class right now, but I can say that something that's well written is way easier to do than poorly written. Way script. easier, way easier. Because yeah, you, you get sure. a better idea of what you're supposed to do. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. So, uh, in light, we kind of got past the meat and potatoes part. The mm -hmm. uh, so uh, let's get to the fun stuff. Okay. Do you ever look at Taco Tuesday the same way anymore? <laughs> well, hilariously, there's a restaurant in Vancouver where I live. Um, it's called Taco Time, and forever. They've been having Taco Tuesdays. Like they just talk about Taco Tuesday, and I didn't think anything of it until, and even when I did the film and did the line, uh, I didn't think anything of the fact that this restaurant said Taco Tuesday. But since it's been such a big deal, then when I heard the co commercial on the radio for the Taco Tuesday, then that made me laugh. So <laughs> that. So no, I suppose I don't look at Taco Tuesday any differently. And funnily enough, when I had explained to my husband that that um, that there was this thing about Taco Tuesday, and everybody thought it was quite funny. He, all of a sudden one day, he just yelled at me in the morning, not in a bad way, just yelled, it's Taco Tuesday! Like, he remembered that sort of stuff before I did. I was oh, clueless. Wow. So, yeah, <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I suppose I don't look at Taco Tuesday the same. Taco Tuesdays or Taco is the same. Way. All right. All right, so, uh, something that I remember hearing about, I've been to a lot of voice actor panels mm -hmm. before, and something mm -hmm. that I've heard a few of them talk about is uh -huh. the fact that all the roles that they've done are kind of like little voices in their head. So how do you feel about the uh, the roles? How how do you feel about the interaction between all the different roles that you've played so far? Something as dramatically different from each other as Revy and Sonata. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if they're voices in my head. I think they're not voices in my head until I read the character description. There's the odd time when I play something or audition for something 
which is like a, a voice maybe that I've always talked to my cat in, or some sort of, but normally it's coming out of my preparation for the character, like my thought about the personality of the character. So that's kind of been my way of doing things. So there's very little, this can sound so ridiculous, there's very little going on in my head. It's <laughs> <That's, laughs> kind of in, not, the, in the best possible way. In the best way. possible way. I guess there's not a lot of like crazy voices happening, necessarily, most of the time, um, that I then bring out to a character. It's kind of the opposite. Character right. so and then as soon as you get into a character, you're completely immersed into it, as opposed to, to a degree. how some people would just uh, would have all of them in there at once, acting as influences, like Steve yeah. Bloom. Yeah, 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 for sure. All right. And, uh, what would, what sort of advice would you give to people who aspire to this sort of career path? Uh, be ready for some tough times, first of all. So know that it isn't always. Uh, you know, sunshine and easy stuff and fun. The hardest part about being a professional actor is when you're not acting. Sometimes that's really hard, and sometimes you know you got to do other things to pay your bills. And some that's not the reality for everybody, but it is the reality for a lot of actors. Uh, and advice: practice. One of the reasons that working actors work is because they work. They're always practicing stuff because they're in the studio working. So the more that you can practice, the better. And I think one of the best ways to practice is. Getting together with people and reading scripts, getting together with people and reading plays, participating in theater is huge, uh, I think a huge leg up in that. Um, whether it's professional theater, whether it's community theater, that kind of stuff, or if you're a younger person and you're doing high school, you're in high school and you can join the drama club and get some experience, theater is a really good training ground for a lot of things, but voice acting I think in particular. All right, and uh, just to shift gears a little bit, uh -huh. uh, this is going back to the reaction thing. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you, how exactly did you respond to the fandom reaction to your character? Do you have any particular feelings about the Brony fandom in specifics, or is it just? I'm. I guess I, the thing that I'm, that I am is grateful, because I've said this in a lot of interviews that as an actor, I can't work if people don't want to watch the stuff that we do. So I'm very grateful for people who watch, so that I'm able to work. So that's my main kind of feeling about it, is very grateful and very, and, and kind of honored that, 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 I'm, that I work on a show that is, that I have worked on a show that is popular and that people like, that people really enjoy, and that also people find some really positive life messages in, I guess. So I think that's really, it's really cool for me as a person. All right. Uh, you got any any final words? Any final thoughts you want to leave us with before we wrap up? Um, I don't accept to say that it's somewhere. It's always Taco Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mareka. Yes. Mareka. Okay, Mareka. There you go. Yep. All right. It's a weird one. Don't worry. No. Hey, I've got weird name. I got a weird name too. <laughs> Thank Any, you. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining us, folks, and we'll be catching you later.